you're listening to Phil DeBella and this is Flashcast by PDB. Today I want to talk about employee engagement. How do we best engage our employees? And this is a topic that um, is has always been front and centre for me. This marks 20 years in business for me. I started my first business at 26, uh, now at 46. Uh, 20 years in business, um, employee engagement has been crucial. It's one of the lessons that I learnt um, in my career from working at 15 to 26 for somebody else. 15, I worked for my brother um, in his pizza shop. At 17, I worked for an owner of a, of a cafe that roasted its own coffee called Cosmopolitan Coffee. And it was at this place where I particularly learned about the importance of employee engagement. Uh, it had more turnover of staff that I've, that one can imagine. We used to employ 30 people and would have 150 uh, group certificates every year sent out. So it would have, if you work that out, nearly um, over four times, well, for actually five times turnover of staff, uh, which is crazy um, if you look at those numbers, a 500% turnover of staff. And when I look back and reflect, it, it was all because the employees weren't engaged for a myriad of reasons, and I want to discuss it over the next 10 minutes. But employee engagement is so important, so much so that the impact it had, that when I started my own company in um, 2002 at the age of 26, I was my own employee, of course, as a startup. Uh, but as I began to employ people uh, and went on to employ 130 people under the Debella Coffee banner, employee engagement was front centre for me. It was so important to make sure that um, I had key people in the business, that they were engaged, that they understood what the business is about, that they had amazing passion for their job, but more importantly, that they constantly worked on themselves. And I'm going to explore this a little bit more as we get into it, but um, I wanted them to have pride in themselves and I wanted them to have pride in the business. I wanted them to, to be proud of them, who they were and who they were becoming, but I wanted them to be proud of the business and the company that they worked for. Uh, and, and that was the fundamentals for employee engagement for me, was that uh, people needed to be proud of themselves and they needed to be proud of the uh, company that they, they were coming to work from. And, and that was always front and centre of me because I got to learn, uh, which is a key point, from an organisation, working in an organisation that did this poorly. So, you know, nine years of working at a place called Cosmopolitan Coffee, uh, which had great potential, great coffee, and had many great people, but um, the leadership there and the ownership never worked on people, never worked on employing, engaging its employees or listening to them or listening to ideas or investing in their employees. And this was something that became from front and centre uh, for me, that um, as a leader in an organisation who over the years now has employed thousands of people, uh, that people have pride in themselves and have pride in the workplace that they come to. So... Um, you know, you got to remember that employee engagement is more than just knowing whether someone likes their job or not. It's it's about understanding how committed they are to the business. Um, how how committed are they to their own success, but how committed are they to the success of the organisation? A lot of people focus on the commitment to the organisation, but miss out the, the the fundamental that for an employee to be completely engaged, they have to feel pride in themselves. They have to be committed to themselves. They have to be committed to their personal journey. They have to be committed to showing their pride and being proud of who they are as a person. And only then can they bring their best version of themselves to work, to then be prior, proud of what you have at work. So some of the key fundamentals um, to understand, you know, from your perspective as a leader, if your employees, what do they need to feel engaged? Well, you know, these are things that I ask myself often is, are my company's goals and visions clear and concise? So am I setting clear vision and goals for the team members to know that when they turn up, that um, they're, they're, they're engaged or they understand at least what my vision is uh, and what my goals are. You know, and with the Coffee Commune, the vision is to build a community. Coffee community comes to collaborate at the Coffee Commune. Our goal is to accelerate people's potential. It's very clear, it's very precise. People can engage with it. They have to understand these goals. You know, you need to communicate with your employees. Uh, I always love getting them part of the solution. The great thing about starting businesses from scratch or from growing from a small team to a big team is that you make them part of the process. You make them part of the strategy planning. You make them part of the vision. You get them involved in what needs to happen. You need to understand that if they're going to be there to execute whatever your vision is as a leader, that they need to be engaged with it. And the best way to be engaged, once you tick the box of obviously them having pride in themselves, pride in the organisation, is for them to understand your goals and your vision as a company. 
also asking yourself, is the leadership of the organisation present? Is it accessible for people to tap into, to ask questions? Is it open door policy or closed door policy? I've always had an open door policy for people to come to me. This is what employees need to feel engaged from my experience. You know, are my managers equipped with the skills to lead them? So when I put managers in place to lead teams, I'm constantly working on the upskilling of managers so that they can work on the upskilling of their teams. At the moment, I have five general managers at the Coffee Commune and my what takes up the bulk of my time is working with these GMs to be able to work with their team. So I'm building and um, supporting my GMs and upskilling them so that they can pass this down to their team members and build them so that, that we can have total engagement across the whole organisation. And of course, is everybody motivated by the same things? And that's a key one is, you know, from myself as, as the founder and managing director through to my GMs and then the teams, are we all motivated by the same things? Are we, are we all motivated to build a place where the coffee community come to collaborate? Are we dedicated, focused and on board with helping people accelerate their potential? And that goes for potential clients, but internally as well. So these are some of the things that we need to really understand that um, employees need to feel engaged. Why is employee engagement important? Well, we said from the onset, we don't want the turnover. You know, an, an engaged employee outperforms every day of the week somebody who just shows up for a paycheck. You know, take it one step further. Staff turnover costs a lot of money and people don't realise that, that, you know, going out to hire somebody, going through the induction process, doing the phase in, the handovers, this all costs money. Not just physical money, it also is an opportunity cost. It's a resource cost in terms of time. It's a resource cost in terms of effort. All efforts should be out there pushing that business to, to grow strong. And it's not always about growing in numbers, but grow strong making sure that everybody's on that journey towards the same vision, the same goals of the organisation. Let me finish on this part. We've got three minutes or so to talk about some tips on how to engage employees. Now, for me, the number one thing is that you've got to find people that care about the customer. Everything revolves around the customer. It starts and it finishes around the customer. If you don't have people on board that want to be in service to others, then there's no way that you can um, engage your employees. You need to be a business that leads by example, but employs people that want to be in service to others. They, they care about the customer. The people that care about the customer are going to care about the business and therefore in turn, they're going to be more engaged um, in the business. Right. We need to make sure that we're always encouraging teamwork amongst employees. You know, none of this I, 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 it's we, we, we. We win as a team, we lose as a team. You know, people have got to be able to take the accolades. They've also got to be take the reprimand. They get told when they do things well and you've got to let them know when they're not doing things well. You can't just focus one without the other. You can't build a team where you're just telling them the negatives without the positives and you can't have employees that just want the positives without the negatives. You need to recognise team and hard work. Um, I always talk about complementing the teams, making sure that it, you know they're happy, making sure they're told when they're doing things right, uh, but also pointing out when things need to be um, to be fixed. You've got to have growth plans in place for your teams. You know, I always say to the employees, where are you today? Where do you want to be in a year? And where do you want to be in three years? You've got to have these plans. You've got to have these discussions with the team. You've got to show that you care. You want to show that you want to accelerate their potential. If I'm showing someone in my organisation I want to show and um, accelerate their potential, then they're going to be emotionally engaged to accelerate the potential of our clients, which is what our business is about. And in doing that, we've got to provide the tools for success. So whether this is external studies, we've teamed up with Go One to do a learning platform to offer over 80 courses. We bring in speakers. We run, we run all different sorts of programs in place. We're working on a wellbeing program right now for our team. We're constantly supporting the growth of our teams. We're wanting them to learn to be better tomorrow than today, personally, professionally, family. So you've got to be able to provide them with the tools to do this if you want to have employees that engage. And I'll finish on this one. How many of us can really say that we know our team members? So the tip I'll finish on is get to know your teams. Get to know them personally, professionally and family. Of course, everyone's on a different level. It doesn't mean you need to be best buddies with them, but you need to know about them. Do they have children? Do they want children? What hobbies do they like? What do they do outside of work? These are all the things that are going to help your employees feel emotionally engaged in the business. Because remember, the key is to get totally emotionally engaged employees so that they deliver 
on your vision and your goals. The way to do this is to have people that are proud and take pride in themselves and are proud and take pride in the business, that they feel part of a business, they feel part of the success of the business and they come to work treating it like it's their own. This is when you have engaged employees. I hope it's helped. It's a lot to cover in 10 minutes, but um, some key nuggets there for you to take away. Until next time, you've been listening to Phil DeBella and this is Flashcast by PDB. Hi, this is Phil DeBella, and if you don't know already, in 2022 May, I'll be putting the dancing shoes on with my daughter, Annika, for Dancing CEOs Queensland. She can dance and I can't, but uh, the journey's going to be fun. And uh, we're doing it all for a great cause. So Dancing CEOs has been around for a long time here in Brisbane. It's an amazing organisation and charity event. They raised over half a million dollars this year. And uh, I look forward to it in 2022. If you can give $5, $500, 5000 whatever you can would be great to support a great cause. It goes to Women's Legal Services Queensland, who make sure that uh, women and children that are affected by domestic violence are looked after. So a great cause, 100% tax deducted, no admin fees, which is something that we love about it. 100% of your donation goes to helping those that need it. So support Arnica, support myself and support Dancing CEOs. The link is provided below. Please give what you can.